In this video, we're going to discuss the tree's data structure. Or a tree. So, what is a tree? A tree is a finite set of one or more nodes where there's a special node called the root, which would be this guy right here at the top. The remaining nodes are partitioned into some n number of nodes, uh, n number greater than zero of disjoint sets, T1 through Tn, where each set is also a tree. We call T1 through Tn the subtrees of the root, and each is a tree in its own right. So in programming, we could represent a tree with structures like this. We got a node with a piece of data, and then a list of its pointers to its children. Similarly, we could have, we have a tree which has a node pointer to the root. This will work, but with tree, we could have a lot of trees with empty nodes, and if we have a big list of children that could be space-wise inefficient. Most of the time we don't use this approach. There's another approach called left child right sibling and although this has better space utilization it isn't a great approach. Instead what is typically done is we use the idea of a binary tree. Any tree can be represented as a binary tree if we use the above left child right sibling approach. So what is a binary tree? It's a data structure with the following properties. It's hierarchical in nature. It's organized by a parent and child elements. In a binary tree, every node of the tree has exactly zero, one, or two elements. So here are some examples. Zero, uh, zero, one, or two children. Zero children, that's a valid binary tree. Two is valid, one is valid, but three is not. So here's some terminology. Here we've got the root of the tree. They're connected by edges, just like with a graph. We've got nodes, which are the actual elements. We've got an interior node, which means it's not a leaf node. A leaf node is one that has no children. We have a parent G. We have node I, which is a parent of G, and G is also called the parent. Okay. The height of a binary tree is also the maximum of a depth. A height so we start from the lowest branch, so this would be 0, height 0, height 1, height 2, and so forth. The depth is the inverse, it goes depth 0, depth 1, etc. A parent has no more than two children. Children are referred to as either left or right children. Each item in a binary tree is called a node, and a tree is built of nodes. Each node is also the word of its own subtree. So here we've got a value, node, a node with a value of left and right. And it points to a child, which also has a node with a value left and right, which is a subtree because it can point to nodes with values of left and right. So here's a valid binary tree. We've got Fred, which has Bob and Gigi as its children. Alan, which has Bob as a parent. Don, which has Bob as a parent. And Kathy, which has Bob as a parent. Here's another one that is also valid. This tree is not a valid binary tree because it actually has one node with three children. So, how do we walk through these trees? Uh, th this is called tree traversal, and there are three main traversals. There's an in-order traversal where we start with the left node, left, left, then the node we're considering, then the right node. Then we, um, then we have a pre-order traversal which starts at the node first, then the left node and the right. I'll make this clear as we go. And then the post-order traversal, which is left, right, and node. Now, what does that mean? Well, given the above definitions, these traversals can be discussed using the following algorithms. For an in-order traversal, if the node isn't null, visit the left tree, act on the node, visit the right tree. And we do this recursively. For pre-order node, it's the same, but different ordering. Act on the node, visit the left, then visit the right. And for for, for post-order, we visit the left tree, the right tree, and then we act on the node. So let's walk through a in-order traversal. All right, so here we've got this tree, right? So what we'll do first is we start at node F, which is the root, okay? Then we're going to do our left traversal. So we print out B, assuming we're trying to print out things. Okay. Then we go, I'm, um, I'm sorry, I wouldn't print it out. We go B, and then we go to its left, which would take us to A. Pop back up to B, because we're done with A. 
Then because we've done our left side, we're going to output our node. Then we're going to go to our right side. Uh, and because, again, it's the right side, we'll, we'll output our node. Similarly, now we'll go to C. And I'll put it. There's no children, so we're going to pop back up to D. There's no children. I mean, it has a child, so we pop down to E. Okay. And we're done with that. Then we're going to come back to F. We're going to go to G because it's a child. Um, G has one child, so we're going to do right, uh, left, right, uh, left, node, right. So we'll go to G. G has one child, so we got I. I has a left child, so before putting I, we will go to H. H has no children, so H. Come back up here to I, and then we are done. Now, another way to visualize it, oops, sorry, is as if you were drawing a line by, down the side of the tree. Um, so, for example, taking this line, we're drawing an outline of the tree. For an in-order traversal, you only access the node as you, oops, as you go under it. So here we'd access the node first, then traveling up, we'd access the node, traveling down, we draw the outline, we only access the node when we come underneath it. Okay. Similarly with E, we access, we display the node or perform the action on the node, we get to there. Here we're underneath the node. Here we're not. Here we are. Boom. We're back. Our tree has been Traverse. This says prayer traversal, but unfortunately, uh, that's not what I was intending to do. Anyway, um, I did that on the in order traversal. So now let's do a pre order traversal, which is node first, then left and right. All right, so here we're going to print out our first node, F, because we're doing the node first. Now we're going to go to the left tree, and we'll print out B, it's left, and we'll print out A. Then we'll pop up, print out D, because it's node, left, now right. Then we'll print out the D, and then we'll do, because that's node, and now we're going to go left and right, C and E. Okay, now that means we're done with this guy, so we go G, which is node, and now we're going to do left, right, so it'll be I. Then we do left, right, and then the uh, H. And that's our pre-order traversal. Now, using the same concept before of outlining the tree, this time we action on the node when we get when we are on the left side of it. So here there's F and B, we're on the left side. B, we come under here, we're on the left side of the node, left side, left side, we come over here, we're on the left side, we're on the left side, we're on the left side, and then all the way home. Finally, we're going to take a look at the post order situation. Similarly with post order, we're going to do the left side and then the right side in the node. So here, we started off and do the left side, and do the left side again. So we're going to get A first. Then we're going to do the right side, C, and then we're going to do the right side, which would be E. And then we'll do, come back up, and do D, then B. Then we'll go over here and do G, because it's right side. We'll do I, because it's right side. And H because it's left side, right side, and then we'll come back up, we do the G, and then we do the F. Now, as before, we can do our outlining trick to take a simpler view. This time, though, oops, this time, though, we activate the node when we're on the right side. So it'll be A, C, then E, D, and B, and then 
and then I kind of zip through that H I G and F. Okay. Okay, here's another example. A couple of trees. So given that, how do we count leaf nodes, do you think? Alright, so let's define our class node. We've got our value, our left and right. We've got a default constructor here. Um, think about how you would define that, and we will talk about that in an example. 